Damn, 90,000 XP? Yes, you can actually get 90,000 XP from a single zombies match. You can go ahead and use this method to get a ton of weapon XP as well and some battle pass XP. If you guys want to get similar results, go ahead and follow every step that I tell you guys in this video and make sure you watch until the end so you can make sure you do it correctly. But the first step what you're going to do after loading into the zombies is you're going to go to your weapon, select the weapon that you do want to level up and go ahead and put it in your insured slot. This allows you to keep the weapon even after you lose it because the MW3 zombies is pretty much similar to DMZ. However, it's a pve mode so make sure you do put it in your insured slot once you've chosen your weapon go ahead and put any tactical or lethal does not matter honestly the it is actually very useful if you put something that has a large splash damage that helps you get rid of a ton of zombies at once once you do that make sure you choose your power up the energy bomb because that allows you to clear a ton of zombies all at once once you're finished with your loadout make sure you're not on fill and you can go ahead and load into the match now one last thing before loading into the game is make sure if you have any double xp weapons you activate all of them once you load it in, go ahead and see where you're at. After two minutes of in-game time, you're going to go ahead and find the exfil locations. What you're going to do is go ahead and get in a vehicle or start running towards the exfil location. Once you're in the exfil location, you're going to see a ton of zombies start spawning. You're going to go ahead and start the exfil process. When the exfil process starts, a ton of zombies will start spawning and you can go ahead and start killing them. This is where the actual thing begins. As you're doing the exfil and there's a big train of zombies behind you, what you can do is use your lethals. Like I said, make sure it is a splash damage one, such as grenades and stuff like that that cause explosions. What I used was the bomb drone as well as the bouncing Betty. They do a lot of damage and the damage radius is big. This will allow you to fill up the energy mines bars and that way you can go ahead and throw that right after you throw your lethals. Now as the energy mine is destroying the zombies, what you can do is between each pulse you can go ahead and continue shooting at the zombies. This will allow the bar to get full again and you can throw it over and over again non-stop. After the helicopter has landed and you've pretty much killed all the zombies, do not get in the helicopter, let it go away. After the helicopter has been gone for a minute, the exfil location will turn on again and will be activated and you can go ahead and start the process once again. You can continue doing this until the time has gone down to about 5 minutes or so, give or take, it doesn't really matter, but just make sure you do the exfil. This will allow you to get bonus XP for completing an exfil and you can go ahead and get a little bit more XP at the end. So once you guys are satisfied with the amount of XP that you've gotten and you've leveled up your weapon enough, you can go ahead and do the exfil. Again, just make sure it is before the time runs out and then you'll see all the XP that you've received. Bye bye.